फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट मिस्टर डिप्टी स्पीकर सर वी आर हैप्पी टू डिबेट दिस इंपोर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट वंस मोर एज यू नो द डिफेंस डिबेट शुड नेसेसरली कंसर्न ऑल ऑफ अस एंड इट शुड बी बेस्ड ऑन ए नेशनल कंसेंसस इट इज नोट अ वन पार्टी बिजनेस और अ वन मैन शो इट कंसर्नस द एंटायर नेशन इट्स सिक्योरिटी एंड लिबर्टी एज विदाउट अ स्ट्रोंग कंट्री एवरीथिंग एल्स हैज नो मीनिंग देयर फोर ऑल वैलिड व्यू पॉइंट्स एक्सप्रेस्ड मस्ट बी टेकन इन टू अकाउंट इन इवोल्विंग सच अ पॉलिसी वी हैव बीन वोन्ड अबाउट वेरियस थ्रेट्स एज एविडेंट इन दिस रिपोर्ट ऑफ द डिफेंस मिनिस्ट्री and my only criticism if at all i should say is that a time has come when this nation expects that those threats and our counter postures to meet those threats must be spelt out more wisely by this i mean that one who studies this report unless one has access to various other documents available in abundance elsewhere one cannot arrive at a position as to what exactly we are trying to do in order to meet the so called threat which i certainly assert there is i think a time has come when the country should be taken into confidence when the members of parliament should be taken into confidence as to what exactly we mean and what exactly we are going to do and a slightly better understanding should be reflected by the defense ministry towards this point i certainly do not wish that classified items are to be made available they are certainly the prerogative of the administration to keep but they should give us at least in general terms what we are expected to know nearly 55% of the last year's defense budget was spent on the rise in the cost of petroleum articles oil fuels lubricants and the rise in pay scales pensions and allowances etc it hardly left for the entire defense budget a balance of 40% which goes to make the real hard punch and so it remains this year also this position has to be rectified in the coming months and that is a cause for concern i have the greatest regard for the honorable defense minister and i know that he is a man of faction and that he will take this point into account so that our defenses do not lack the punch that we want to have the threats as spelt out in the report of the ministry are mainly from the north and west and as far as they go they are right as far as the threat from the west is concerned it is more positive i do not foresee anything to come out of that cold state in the north but if you look at the west the defense budget of pakistan has increased by 25% in the last year from 1981 they have increased their budget 50% they have raised three infantry divisions and one armed division 
नोट ओनली दैट दे से दैट पाकिस्तान विल सेटल आउटस्टैंडिंग डिफरेंसिस विद इंडिया फ्रॉम ए पोजिशन ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ वी ऑन द अदर हैंड हैव द सेम कमिटमेंट्स एज we had before 1971 that should be an indication to those who understand this matter that our commitments remain the same our ratio of forces on the western sector necessarily has not improved as one would like them to do together with this the leadership of pakistan is known for diverting the attention of their people from the various troubles that they have inside their country and creating tensions along the western border which concerns us we have had the sad experience of having three major wars in the last 40 years the increase in the air force of pakistan has also to be noted it is not good just not giving any importance to the idea that they do not have an industrial base and therefore it does not constitute any threat to us i beg to remind the house that initially and basically they and we are from the same race from the same stock possessing the same skill and the same resourcefulness so one should not underestimate the capacity that they have for doing all this i wish to say in all humility that special attention must be paid towards this they are now getting in the pipeline perhaps some more missiles and more anti tank weapons and aircrafts which give them a qualitative edge over us now the other factor that needs to be taken into account is china's own way of thinking compelled by its own national security angles it has left its old narrow position and has now gone into a lot of technical and technological cooperation with the western countries so there should be no doubt that when production starts flowing out of china in this new generation of armaments it will certainly flow into the pipeline to pakistan all these factors should be taken into account by the ministry of defense stop